These black sheroes are Holy Ghost filled. They've got more Holy Ghost in them than Mary Magdalene, than Mother Teresa, than Sister Jamila. These are some true sisters of God, heroes, sheroes of God. It is Black History Month, and that means we have to celebrate the Black Sheroes. At the top of our list, we've got the one and only Fonny Willis. Welcome! It is Parody Friday, and I'm so happy that you're here because we're going to have us some fun in this here episode. We're going to talk a little bit about the, the women in our society. We're going to talk, touch bases on some of these sheroes in our society. And as we know, one of the great pastors, the, one of the, the great pastors of our times, Pastor Dr. Jamal Bryant, has nominated Fannie Willis as the shero of this generation, this shero where all girls, all women needs to bow down to this here heroine who is trying to save the soul of a nation. She's trying to save the soul of a people by getting her coochie slapped all over the country. Hello friends and welcome to the Conservative Poet. I am Amanya and I want to say thank you to all of the new subscribers. We got a whole lot of people that hit that subscribe button and I want to say thank you for doing that because I will surely work hard to entertain you, to bring you information and just to be the fighter out here in the streets for you. So Thank you for subscribing. God bless you and God keep you. The bar has been set so low, so low that Fonnie Willis, the disgraceful, the home wrecker. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Home wrecker. That's what you be, that's what you are called when you go in between the relationship of married people they call you a home wrecker that's what they call you that's what they call you i didn't make that up that's what they called you they called you a home wrecker if you breaking up marriages you breaking up homes then you you wrecking the house you wrecking the home so it's home wrecker that's what you are so home wrecker has now become what black girls black women should aspire to be we should aspire to be a Fonnie Willis. That's what we should aspire to be. That's what the pastor said. He done said it. That's what black girls should aspire to be because Fonnie Willis is a shero. She's a heroine. She's out here with armor on, taking the bullets for we, the black woman. She is out here doing the good works of the church, of the community, because we, the black people, we, the black woman, we's under attack, not by our own behavior, not by our own poor choices, not by our own devilness, but because it is, who, who, who did you say? Did you say it was a white man? The white man, it's the white man. It's the white man that's doing it. It's the white man trying to take down a black girl. It's the white man trying to take down a black sister. It's the white man that's trying to do all that. It's the white man. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You just, you're just a strong black woman. I was a strong black woman, you know? I was a strong black woman. I'm able to do what I do. I pay my house, I pay my rent, I pay my car. I do this, I do that, I do that. I pay for my man too. I'm up, up, up under him, but I'm gonna pay him his money. because. I's a strong black woman. I'm not gonna get your your hot dog for free. I'm not gonna get your sausage for free. I'm not gonna I'm, I'm gonna pay you to be all up in my business because I'm a strong black woman. I'm a strong black woman. So I pays my way. 
Nathan Wade, I'm going to pay my way. I'm going to pay for your sausage to end up in this here mouth. I'm going to pay for your sausage to end up in there, my privacies. I'm going to pay your way for you to lay with me, for you to cuddle with me, for you to love me, for you to touch me, for you to fondle with the fonda. Fondle, fonda. Fondle, fonda. <laughs> I'm going to pay for you to fondle, fonda. Right? I'm going to pay you. Because I was a strong black woman. I got my money bag. I got my money. Didn't you hear my daddy tell you? My daddy done told you. He taught me to keep cash on me. I got to keep at least 100K on me at all times. Because I never know what man I'm going to meet and how much I'm going to need to pay him to service me. Right? I'm going to need to pay him to service me. So I keeps me 100K. I keeps me that kind of money just by my bed. You know? Because I... Cause when I needs that scratch, my my scratching, when I needs my itch scratching, when I needs that old Fonny to be scratched up, I know I's got to deliver on the goods. I know I got to be paying. You know? So I keeps me money. So I am the strongest black woman you see. So I am an example. I is an example of what black women should be. God, Lord, I is an example. They done told you, I got an award for it. I got an award for it. I could be nasty if I want to. I could, I could be wicked if I want to. I could have a nasty attitude if I want to. It makes no difference because I was the black woman. I'm a black woman. I'm the black queen. I'm a shero. Didn't y'all hear that? Pastor Jamal done called it out. He said, Fonnie Willis, Sister Fanny, Sister Fanny, Fanny Pack, Sister Fanny is working to save the soul of the people. She's out here working in these streets, man. She exercising all kinds of different positions. She doing all kinds of positions. And she's a hero. And we need to talk to our girls. Our girls need to, we need to put in that Fanny class. Man, Miss Fanny, when you coming to teach the girls how to be a hoe like you? Miss Fanny, when you coming to teach the girls? Because we need more hoish girls like you. Because this is, this is what the bar is. This is what it is. We can't have dignified women like Condoleezza Rice. We can't have those. Yeah, we, 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 don't, we don't really care for those kinds of women. Yeah, those kinds of women don't bring the heat. You know, they educate it, sure. They have some common sense, sure. They keep themselves organized, sure. But, 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 but that's not what we need. We need the hoes in the streets. That is the example for our girls. We need the hoes in the streets. We don't need people like Condoleezza Rice. We don't need her. No, we don't, we don't need people like Miss Schwain. We don't need her. Carol Schwain, we don't need her. Harvard talking woman, we don't need her. Talking com Some talking common sense about black history and, and what happened to the Negroes and how the Democrats are, are all terrible. We don't need to hear all that. We need people like, we need people like Fonnie Willis. That's the, that's the kind of schooling we need to be teaching our girls about these things. We need us Fonnie Willis type women. Yeah. That's the kind of women that's going to lead the black girl into places like you've never known. Now, we know we've had other, other women, other sisters like that. We know our great, great vice president, the great vice president, Kamala. The great vice president, Kamala. I heard she done did a lot of things to get to where she's at. Oh, Mr. Willow Brown. She done did Mr. Willow Brown. Mr. Willow Brown. Yeah, yeah. But that's what you got to do. That's what the black woman has to do in order to get to, to, to get to where she got to go. Yes, yeah, she done did Miss Miss Kamala done did Mr. Willie Brown. And she got she now vice president. She ain't saying too much. She cackling like a hen all the time. Cackling. She cackling all the time like a hen. Nobody understands nothing she be saying. Nobody understand nothing she be saying. I don't understand what she be saying, but she be talking. My name Kamala Harris, and you better recognize. My name, Kamala Harris, as the vice president. Hear me, Charlemagne the God. I am Kamala Harris, and you better recognize, okay? As the VP, as the VP, as the VP. You better recognize when a black woman walk into the room, when the VP walks into the room, as Kamala, as Kamala.
as Kamala and as the VP. Seen that? Heard that? Good. Hello, fellow patriots. Thank you so much for your support. And again, you can do so by purchasing products from the Orlando Patriots, mugs, t-shirts, all of your patriotic gear. We are in an election year, so we need to show the world that we support our candidates, especially President Trump. So get some gear at theorlandopatriot.com and you'll get 30% off. Thank you for your support. It means the world to me. I'll see you there. Friends, you know what really, 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 really gets under my skin as a strong black woman in leadership? They always talking about that we get to our positions because we have sexual encounters with, you know, people at the top. Kamala Harris, they say, that's how she got to where she's at. She, she, she done did a couple of people and going to, to the top. I don't know if they say she done did Joe Biden. I don't know if they say that. I don't know. You think she done did Joe Biden? You think she, she would never put that old shriveled up in her? No, never, never. Jill Biden wouldn't stand for it. Jill Biden would have cut her off at the knee. And they're always throwing the affirmative action in there. Oh, it's affirmative action, this affirmative action, that affirmative action, affirmative action. I'm so sick of them talking about affirmative action. We done did the work. We deserve to get what we got. Kamala Harris, I deserve to be where I'm, where's I'm at. I done did the hard work. I done did the hard work. However you, you want to look at it, I done did my part. I just won't do my part now. As the borders are or anything like that, I ain't, doing, I ain't trying to do all that. I ain't trying to do all that extra work. I done did my part. I done paid my dues. And as for Fanny, being Fanny, big fat Fanny, she has paid her dues as well. She's paid those in spades. She's paid those in spades because she's been all over the country paying her way, paying and doing what she needs to do. Fanny and Kamala, two examples of what a black girl should be aspiring to be. One of them, district attorney, hammer of the county. She's taken down Donald J. Trump. She's, she, she's taken down Donald J. Trump. She already took down, uh, Mr. Nathan Wade. You know, she took him down. She took him down. Uh, but, now, but her goal is to take down Donald, 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 Donald J. Trump, Donald J. Trump. She going to take him down. And of course, uh, Kamala Harris has paid her way because she's the vice president of the United States. How she get there, nobody knows, but she the vice president. She the vice president. Joe Biden done told us, I'm picking me a woman. I'm picking me a black woman. I'm picking me a black woman. I'm picking me somebody who's black with a vagina. That's all I'm picking. That's all you need to qualify. That's all you need to qualify. You just have to have a vagina and be black. And so Kamala has both, allegedly. She has both, allegedly. And um, and so that's why she's the VP. So, Fanny and Kamala, two great examples of what black girls should aspire to be. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> so guys, that is the Parody Friday video. Uh, for 2024 Friday, February 23. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, uh, somebody got a laugh. Hopefully somebody got a kick. Somebody got some giggles. Uh, hopefully, cause I, I really like to just let loose on a Friday and just do these, um, for you because it, it gives me a place to just really, really just let loose and just rant on. It's really, it's a rant on, you know, but, um, I like doing them. I enjoy doing them because they're a lot of fun to make. So hopefully again, you enjoyed it. If you would talk to me in the comments, tell me, um, which affirmative action drama queen you think, um, 
you know, is, is the worst for the black community because, um, when I say that, I mean, as an example of what a woman should be, of what a leader should be, you know, and I talk about Condoleezza Rice and uh, Miss Carol Schwain, because these women are some real strong, powerful women who has, you know, some great principles and morals and, you know, they speak truth about what's going on in the world. They are, you know, examples of what I would aspire to be as a black woman, as opposed to Fannie Willis or Kamala Harris, who doesn't seem to have real principles um, in their arsenal as women, as um, people of color, as they like to say. I hate that term. I hate that term, people of color. I I, I don't even know where that comes from. I, I can't stand it. Any event, so we have these different examples of what black people should aspire to be, but the bar is set so low that people like Fonnie Willis is being praised by the black church. I mean, we've had three churches, ooh, two, three churches come out here. One has given her an award, another one give her a platform so she can lie like a devil that she was. And then another one has now saying, we've got your back. She's a heron trying to save the soul of the people. I mean, it's ridiculous. The bar is set so low for black people. It's, it's sad. And people like Condoleezza Rice, Carol Schwain are not even acknowledged in all of this. They're not even... They're, they don't even, they're not even getting awards from these people. They're, the black church isn't raising them up, right? It's very sad. Anyway, that's going to be the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, subscribing. Uh, thank you, new subscribers, for coming on. Again, I have announced that I have a subscription now, so you can get more of me behind the scenes. And, um, you know, it, it, it's it's a lot of fun. So thank you very much. God bless you. God keep you. And I'll see you in another video. How dare you disrespect the black woman as the VP as funny pack Willis. How dare you? How dare you?